March traditionally has been a time of unrest for the Quincy Public School District faculty, but not this year. Financial sacrifices over the past few years are finally paying off dividends this year. KHQA's Jeff Monlock is in the studio with us to tell us why teachers are at ease. Jeff? Now, in past years, teachers would wear pink shirts to mark a frightening time of year. These shirts represented possible bad news, pink slips. But this year, those shirts can remain in their closets. March 1st is the deadline that scares teachers all around the district. It is the day they find out whether they can keep their job another year. Due to low funding in the Quincy Public School District, many teachers are laid off for the summer and may be rehired in the fall. Frequently in the past few years that it's really, really not a fun day when you're at school and you see those teachers worried if they're going to be notified by their principal, um, et cetera. This year there was a sigh of relief. While 16 people were let go, full-time teachers were not affected. It's just a, a combination of, of things that work, hard work that we've done in the past, um, some painful things we had to do in previous years that, that were able to get us to this point where we're not having to do those, those major reductions. Another factor easing the tension is the high number of people retiring or resigning. It's, it's a positive thing. It's been, it's been really nice that the people retiring kind of will help make up uh, and, and help us financially as far as any reductions. Despite this sign of progress, the future isn't all bright. We did learn that possibly in 2013-14 school year, Illinois may reduce our funding by a million dollars. So going into next school year, we're really already trying to think about that because if they don't come through, all of these steps we're taking now with the retirements and the reorganization is helping that deficit if it does, you know, indeed they don't pay us the million dollars they're supposed to. They hope to consolidate positions around the district. Hiring teachers to replace retiring staff at a lower cost could help save money in the long run. We should know pretty much here uh, before the end of the school year what positions we're going to be looking to, um, to replace and, and which ones we won't be able to replace. But right now we're still working through that process. The school district has a meeting on Wednesday to approve this year's cuts.